Have you ever found yourself spending a lot of time writing individual emails to each person on your contact list? Well, let me introduce you to Mail Merge for Excel, an add-in that lets you send out personalized emails to multiple people from your Outlook or Microsoft 365 account. You can use the Mail Merge add-in to send personalized holiday greetings, event invites, newsletters and more. The emails sent with Mail Merge can have inline images, file attachments and you can even schedule the emails and send them later at your preferred date and time. And if you want to review your emails before sending them out, there's also an option to create drafts using Mail Merge. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the add-in and send out personalized emails from the comfort of Excel. So let's get started and install the add-in first. Go to the Microsoft Apps source. I'll leave a link to install the add-in in the description box below. Click on Get it now and open in Excel. The add-in is installed and we have been redirected to the Microsoft Excel application. Click on Allow and Continue. And Mail Merge is now available to be used inside your Excel spreadsheet. You will find it on the Home tab and you can launch the add-in from there. You can also use the add-in inside the Excel web application. Inside your browser, create a new Excel workbook. Go to the add-ins icon and you will find Mail Merge. Click on the app to launch it inside your spreadsheet. For this tutorial, we'll use the add-in in the desktop app. Now, if you're using Mail Merge for the first time on a workbook, click on the Initialize Worksheet button. This will create a new worksheet and add the required columns with some sample data. In Mail Merge, a separate email will go out for each row in the worksheet to the email address specified in the email address column. And if you want to schedule the emails, you can specify the date in the scheduled date column. For this video, we have created a worksheet that contains a list of our customers and their contact details. We are launching a new store and we want to send personalized emails to our customers informing them about the launch and inviting them to visit our store. We have all the email addresses of the customers here and we also have alternate email addresses for some customers which we will be adding in the CC field of our email later. Now I'll add a new column here and name it scheduled date. In this column, we can add a particular date and time and the emails will be scheduled to be sent out at that time. If you want to schedule all the emails, you can copy and paste the date down the entire column. Or if you want to schedule only a few emails, specify the date and time only for those rows in this column. Now before I move ahead and set up Mail Merge, let me show you one last thing. You can choose to send an email to all the rows in your worksheet, but if you want to email specific people, you can filter out those rows in your worksheet. For example, I want to send an email to only those customers who are from New York. So I'll select all the rows and create a filter by clicking on Sort and Filter on the Home tab. In the City column filter, I'll specify New York and the filter has been applied. So now we have only those customers who are from New York in the sheet. And when we'll run Mail Merge, the email will be sent only to these filtered rows. Our worksheet is now ready. Let's launch the add-in and go to the Configure Merge section. First, select the column title in the worksheet that contains the email addresses. You can add one or more email addresses in the CC and BCC fields. You can directly specify the email addresses in these input boxes and the same email address will be CC'd in all the outgoing emails. Let me show you one more approach where you can CC different email addresses for each row. Remember the alternate email address column in our worksheet? 
we'll add that column here from the drop down now if there's an alternate email address available for a row a copy of the email will be sent to that email address as well next let's create the email template specify the email subject line you can use dynamic variables in the subject and message body for creating personalized emails you can either compose your email template in WYSIWYG mode or advanced users may directly write the email template in HTML code. In the WYSIWYG mode, all the formatting options like bold, italics, underline, etc. are available in the toolbar. Now here, I will hyperlink this text with the Google Map link of the store address. You can also embed images in the email body by clicking on this image icon. With Mail Merge, you can include one or more file attachments from your OneDrive with the email template. First check this option. Now go to your OneDrive and search for the file you want to attach. Click on the Share button and copy the link to this file. Now go back to Mail Merge, paste the link you just copied here and specify a name for the file attachment. I have attached a product brochure in the PDF format. I'll also add a discount voucher as the second attachment. This is an image in the PNG format. You can similarly attach multiple files of any format. Our template is now ready. Click save and close to save the template. Now go to the run merge section to send out the emails. If you're running mail merge for the first time, you may have to grant permission for the app to send emails on your behalf. Now you can either send the emails right away or you can choose to create drafts in your Outlook account and send them later. I'll first create drafts for the emails. All the rows have been processed. You'll notice that a new column called Mail Merge Status has been created by the add-in in the sheet and it shows that for all the mails, drafts have been created. I'll switch to my Outlook account and go to the Drafts folder. Here are the four drafts. Going back to our worksheet, I'll now send out all the emails. Since these rows have already been processed, we will have to clear the mail merge status column first, else it will not process these rows again. So now you can see that three emails have been sent out and one email has been scheduled. I'll switch to my Outlook account once again. Here are the sent emails in the sent folder and we can find the scheduled email in the drafts folder. So this is how you can easily send out personalized emails to your contacts using Mail Merge for Excel. Do not forget to check out our website labnol.org for more interesting tips and tutorials around all things tech.